obviously you now want to know how to solve discrete dynamical systems. What will happen to the zebras and the lions? Will both grow extinct? Will both survive or maybe one of the two? In order to do this, it is convenient to look first at a few easier cases. And that's the subject of this video. Let's look at our dynamical system. xk plus 1 equals a times xk. Then we know x1 equals a times x0 if we plug in k equals 0. That means that if we have an initial population x0, we can compute x1 by multiplying a times x0. If we proceed, we get x2 by calculating a times x1. And we have calculated x1 in the first step. However, we can see something. We can substitute x1 equals a times x0, and then we see x2 equals a squared times x0. And if we go on, we would get x3 equals a cubed times x0, and so on, and so on. So eventually, we will end up with xk, and that equals a to the power k times x0. Wow. This is always true, but let us look at some easier cases first. Cases in which we can compute a to the power k easily. Like in the case where a is a diagonal matrix, a equals d, with lambda 1 and lambda 2 on the diagonal. That means xk equals d to the power k x0 instead of a to the power k, we have the easier d to the power k, and then k we can compute d to the power k immediately, because d to the power k just consists of lambda 1 to the power k and lambda 2 to the power k on the diagonal, which means that we can write down immediately our solution. xk, the first component, will be lambda 1 to the power k times x0, first component, and xk, second component, will be lambda 2 to the power k, x0, And in this diagonal case, the species do not interact yet. That's no problem, let's first look at an easier case. We can distinguish in this easier case three different subcases. First of all, it can happen that both eigenvalues, lambda 1 and lambda 2, are both bigger than 1. Then xk1 equals lambda 1 to the power k x0, comma 1. But if lambda 1 is bigger than 1, then lambda 1 to the power k, think of example 2, 2 to the power k, will become very large. So eventually the population xk, 1 will blow up. A similar argument holds for the second one, xk, 2. If lambda 2 is bigger than 1, say 3, then we have a 3 to the power k over here, which means that this term becomes very big, so this term will blow up as well. Will always all terms blow up? Well, if the eigenvalues are smaller than 1 in absolute value, then xk, 1 behaves like lambda 1 to the power k, but if lambda is smaller than 1, say 1 half, and we take high powers, we get 1 half, 1 quarter, 1 over 8, 1 over 16, that will become very small. Eventually, xk, 1 will die out, it will go to zero. And the same holds for xk, 2. Also, we have here that lambda is smaller than 1, which means that xk, 2 will tend to zero as well. So now you can guess what's the third case, of course, uh, where uh, one of the two is smaller than one and the other one is bigger than one. In that case, the first one will go to zero and the second one with an eigenvalue bigger than one will blow up. And that concludes the first case where A is a diagonal matrix.